hello and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about hamster wheels as they are a necessary addition to hamster cages but what are hamster wheels for and what types are available and what types should you get for your hamster hamster wheels are for hamsters to run even though they do not have a lot of room in their cages in the wild hamsters run for several miles in a single night and it has been known for a hamster to run more than five miles in a single night but they can't do this when they're confined to a cage so that's why hamster wheels are available and that's why we need them all this running is great exercise for your hamster and it keeps them fit and healthy now I'm going to be doing a few box openings of some wheels that I have purchased and this is a silent a plastic silent wheel in a green color and I purchased this from Amazon as you can see it's basically like the size little a bit littler than the size of my hand and this is a 4.5 inch wheel and I would not recommend this size for a dwarf hamster although it's as say recommended for hamsters maybe for a baby dwarf hamster but definitely not for an adult dwarf hamster um, it is very small and as you can see you can attach it to a cage or you can just have it standing upright in any position um, so I would recommend this particular 4.5 inch wheel for a baby dwarf hamster or for a mouse if you own a small mouse. Um, so yes, but yes, it's a definitely good silent spinner wheel. And here is Daisy. Um, I just wanted Daisy to have a look at this wheel. And here comes Rosie. And they're not very interested at all in the wheel. And that's probably because the wheel probably looks too small for them to use so the most important reason why we do not get um, small wheels is because it can arch the hamsters back and it will damage their back so if you do see that your hamsters back is arching when they're running on the wheel then just you know invest in providing them with a larger wheel and that would solve the problem okay so now box number two here i'm going to be showing you a, another wheel but again this is similar to the previous wheel um but the previous wheel was a 4.5 inch and it was again a silent spinner and in this box i will have one of the larger wheels just to show you what types of wheels are available um, and again I do myself personally I like silent wheels because obviously if you're somebody that you know has problems with noises and and I know that some wheels can make a lot of noise um, silent wheels are a better option because hamsters tend to spin on it a lot so silent wheel is a better choice now here is the 12 inch silent spinner which they say is recommended um, for chinchillas even pygmy hedgehogs this is a 30.5 centimeter um, wheel and also this would be good for a Syrian hamster especially on the larger scale I mean I would recommend for a Syrian um, again between 8 and 12 so this is the larger scale for a Syrian hamster but my Syrian hamster I've always put him in because he's big um, the 12 inch wheel which is this wheel you see here and again I said I like the silent wheels so but I would not recommend this for obviously a dwarf hamster because if they did have such a large wheel they would be literally falling into the wheel as it spins or they might not even get the wheel to spin at all because it wouldn't take a lot of force to get the wheel to spin so these are the different wheels available.
in the 12 inch wheel and if there was nobody turning this wheel around I just wanted you to know that this wheel was not going anywhere and you can see the big difference. Finally in this last of the box openings this is the recommended wheel that I have purchased for my dwarf hamster. Remember I'm saying dwarf and not Syrian. This is what I purchased for my dwarf hamster. Um, this is a recommended size of 6.5 inches. Um, I got this from Amazon. I um, said in many videos I purchased a lot of items from Amazon just because it's very convenient for me. And here it is. It's a um, nice blue silent wheel and you can have it attached to the cage and or you can just have it standalone inside of the cage. I do have a lot of um, hamster wheels on the market today um, it's, it's like such as the flying saucer wheels. I tend to not favour those wheels myself um, just because I noticed that I don't know for me I find it uncomfortable for the hamster that they can just literally fly off it if they spin too too hard on that um, but I do love these um, these silent wheels and these are my favorites these are the ones that I would recommend to anybody um, you have the options of attaching them to the cages you have the options of standing it in the cage which I prefer because you can then move it around and also I don't like wired cages um, I just don't like the fact that hamsters are nibbling on metal so I don't like um, wired cages myself so yes there are a lot of um, wheels at the moment on the market um, I will later on in this video discuss my least recommended wheel and why but you know I hope that um, you've learned something from the the different sizes of wheels um, for different hamsters and the necessary reason why we need wheels for hamsters um, and things to look for when you need to upgrade and get a bigger size because obviously hamsters grow and um, if you see their backs arching then obviously do invest in a larger wheel so that they can be more comfortable and it's all for the health for of your hamster so so there you go this is the wheel the silent wheel that I use for my hamsters I have three of these wheels for three of my hamsters in all different colors um, so yes this is the the wheel that that I have got from and I think as you can see you can compare the the difference between the 6.5 and the 4.5 is a very big difference so and I'm, I'm glad that you know I was able to share the comparisons in wheels so this is mine here is the cage here is the wheel My least favourite of all of the hamster wheels are the hamster wheels that are made of metal and they have like a it's like almost like a ladder wheel and this I don't like because they can injure your hamsters they have fragile legs and the legs are you know small but they can fall through the gaps whilst running so this is why I prefer to get the plastic silent wheels with a solid surface. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, subscribe and make any comments down below. And I hope to see you all again on my next video.